Look at the little hands poking their little heads in. What's in here? He's got a big fish over here. Look at that. But I think this big boy, this big lion boy shall enjoy it. They're trying to get the fish. We're just gonna go ahead and dump them in. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am here with my boy Drew and we are back out at the canals as you guys might have seen us here before. We're gonna try to feed some animals at the zoo today and if you guys have been on the channel before, you would have seen us here at these canals catching fish to feed these crazy guys. Today we are going to be feeding the Asian small clawed river otters. I'm not exactly sure why I've been doing a lot of feeding videos. If you guys have been on the channel and seen the past couple videos, we've been feeding a lot of the stuff at the zoo. I'm having a lot of fun with it. We've done this video before where we've caught fish and gave them to the otters so I thought why not for you guys who are new who might not have seen that video before we'll catch some more fish and we'll go back to the zoo and see just how much these otters love them the first thing we got to do is put on our polarized glasses to see the fish in the water if you guys haven't seen a cast net before you'll throw the net onto the school of fish and hopefully catch as many as you can in one throw I'm gonna give Drew the camera though and let's see how many fish we can catch down here in South Florida, there are so many different types of invasive fish, native fish, invasive reptiles, native reptiles. You guys have seen us catching the pythons down here before. We're basically in the Everglades right now, so we don't know what's gonna end up in this net. I think we've got some. Let's bring it in, let's see what we got. Look at that, and just the different species that we wanted, these are all invasive. You guys will hear me talking about that a lot because we are trying to save our South Florida environment, our Everglades down here. We have all sorts of fish. We have Mayan cichlids, we have tilapia, and these are the perfect size for these otter kids. We're just rinsing our bucket out to make sure it's clean. There's all sorts of schmegma in there. We're just gonna fill it up with some fresh water for them. Let's get these fish. Sorry guys. Now feeding live fish to these animals, just like we've done with the tigers and like we tried to do with the black jaguar, it just resembles how these guys would hunt in the wild. Typically at the zoo, they're going to be eating a fish, but it's not gonna be alive. So being able to chase it around and have those natural tendencies is what we're trying to bring out with this live prey. So we have a couple fish here, but we're gonna need to catch some more. So I'm gonna get the net and see what we can catch. Oh yeah, we probably have about 15 fish right now. Look at that. So on our way to the zoo in the Miami heat, Drew and I have decided to get some big gulp slurpee actions. Cheers, boy. Mm. Nothing better than a slurpee on a hot day. So with that being said, we're heading to the zoo. I'll see you when we get there. And just like that, look at that. We are done with our big gulp and we have arrived at the zoo at the same time. So this was perfect. We're gonna throw this away appropriately, but we are here at the zoo and we have one of my favorite Tiger Kids right here. If you guys have met him before, his name is Boshkar, and I think he is sleeping right now. We can hear our Otter Kids in the background. The camera might be picking that up, but let's see. Let's see if we can wake Boshkar up. Boshkar, what's going on, you big lazy kid? Big sleepy boy. He is just laying out, relaxing. You guys have met him before. He's our over 600 pound golden tabby tiger but right now he's just laying down and our otter kids are back there waiting to see us so let's go see what they're up to so we have our bucket here and we're coming over to our otter kids hello look at their little hands here what are you guys crying about do you guys know this bucket we actually used this same bucket in the last video where we fed them so i think they know it's feeding time look at nice to meet you nice to meet you you can see why they call them Asian small clawed river otters because they have these little hands and they'll actually climb up. Sometimes they'll climb all the way to the top of the enclosure. But right now what we're gonna do is go inside with them and put these fish in there and see if they wanna chase them around. We are officially locking ourselves in with these monsters. 
I know, I know it's so sad. Guys, it sounds like they're a crying little baby, but they're just hungry. They just want some fish. Watch it out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, they're smelling the bucket. They're smelling the boots. Now they could be a little nippy. They want to see if my fingers are food, but they definitely smell the fish inside of the bucket. Look how they're looking at the bucket, seeing what is this? What is this? They're sniffing all around. That guy's going over there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey guys. Now these are full grown and they are really hungry right now because it is their feeding time. So instead of the fish that they usually get, oh, oh, oh. Look, right in here. Let's open it up. Maybe if we open it up, we might get a sneak peek. Look at the little hands trying to work. Look at the little hands. Oh my goodness, hold on. Don't get your hands caught. Oh, poking their little heads in. What's in here? What's in here? What's in there? Oh, oh, they're hopping in. Let's see if they catch one. Now this is like catching fish in a barrel, for real. Oh, you got a little leaf back here, buddy. It's like, why are you touching my butt? Why are you touching my butt? Hold on. Oh, he's got one. He's got one, let's see if this one could get one. Oh, he's crunching down. He's crunching down. The other one's like, wait, I want some of that fish. They've ran off with the fish, so we have to tuck through here. Oh, look at him go. So he's got one of the Mayan cichlids, and he's just crunching down. Now the Mayan cichlid isn't from his natural habitat, but this is what he would be doing in the wild, chasing these fish around. The other one's looking for fish, saying, where can I get one of those things? That looks pretty tasty. Look at the way he's chomping on it. Oh my gosh, is that good stuff? Hello you, hello you. Now they are really cute, but they can actually be pretty bitey sometimes and take a good nibble out of your finger. They have very, very sharp teeth. I'll take the camera here and push in. Look at him chomping down. You would not want that to be any part of you. Your finger, your leg, oh, he just tickled my arm there. Look at that. You don't want any of those sharp teeth on you, but these guys here are pretty gentle. So I'm not too worried about them. They seem to be more interested in the fish and we've got to dump the rest of the fish in this pond. We're gonna fill up their little pool here with some nice fresh water. That way you can see how they chase these little fish around. And then the rest of the fish we're probably gonna dump into their pond to chase around later for the rest of the week. He's trying to get another fish. I know. Oh, look at you, you're a dirty mess. You're a dirty mess, you want a fresh, clean bath? I know, it feels so good. He's like, where are the rest of those fish? I know there's more fish. So, the pool is filled, and our little friends here have finished their first fish. So we're gonna open this up. Hold on, hold on, hold your horses. Look at the little paws and claws trying to get in. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's see what they do. Did you get one yet? Did you get one? They're trying to get the fish. We're just gonna go ahead and dump them in. There's a couple fish in there. Let's see if they chase them around. Oh, there they go. This one's got one here. It's in his paws. It's in his claws. That one has two. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It is chow time over here. Now, they are able to fully chase them around and really swim and get that workout with them just being in this small pool. So what I'm doing is draining their pond because it's a little bit dirty. I'm gonna drain it and when it fills back up, we're gonna put the rest of the fish into there so you can see just how they hunt as if they're in the wild. But I think they're enjoying their fish treats in here. I mean, poor little guy there. Hey, you want your fish? He's like, where? Oh. Oh, it's right here. Please give me that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, cute little guys. This guy is ready for another fish. I know, I know. Easy, gentle. There you go. All right, we got another fish here. We got another fish. Okay, easy, easy, gentle, gentle. There you go. So just something as simple as this, going and netting some fish for them, having them chase them around is such good enrichment for them and really makes these guys happy. It really doesn't take much. It brightens my day, probably not as much as theirs, but I'm gonna sit here and enjoy them eating these fish while that pond drains. And when it does, we're gonna refill it up, let some fish go and see what happens. And while 
while we're waiting for that pond to drain, we've run into one of my favorite friends. I'm not gonna tell you his name. If you guys know it, comment down below. Now this fish is not alive, but I think this big boy, this big lion boy shall enjoy it. Here you go, just gently, just gently. Oh yes, please take the fish. That is a tasty fish. Is this fish from Africa? Is that fish from Africa? No, it's not. Look at that big boy. He loves a treat. Just like your dogs or cats like a little treat, this is just like any dog or cat. He's gonna keep chewing on that treat right there. That is a good boy. So he has enjoyed his treat. Let's go see if that pond is clean. Hey kids. All right, so the otter kids are here. The otter kids are here. They're looking at this bucket like, where is our fish dinner? Look at this, guys. The pond is much more clean. It needed to be clean today. So we're gonna be putting the fish into here and hopefully these otters will chase them around. We got some excited otter kids. We gotta untwist this. They're like, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? All right, hold on, hold on. Let's see over here. Let's come over here. We're gonna come down. Okay, we got some otters following us. We got some otter friends. Hold on, it could get a little slippery. All right, let's dump these fish in. Let's see. Oh, they're gonna start chasing them. He's starting to chase them. Oh, look at him go. Look at him. They're chasing the fish around. Get it. Get the fish. <laughs> Look at him go. These guys are just having a blast. Oh, this one got a fish right here. He's gonna bring it right up. Look at him on the bank. Just like in the wild. You've got yourself a little fish for dinner. Look at that. And this one, this one's got a fish too. Maybe even two of them. He's got a big fish over here. Look at that. Oh, he's getting it. He's getting it. Oh. He almost got away from me there, buddy. He almost got away. This is incredible, guys. I don't know if you can see, he's chasing them there. He's already down that one fish. He's getting more, allowing them to swim in this big pond and chase these fish around. I know it might be a little disturbing to some of you guys, but this is what happens in the wild. This is how these beautiful otter kids hunt and these natural tendencies, allowing them to chase them. Look how much fun he's having. Look at that. Oh. This is just a beautiful thing. I would love to put more fish in here at all times so they can always eat this way. Exhausting their energies like this and the whole experience for them is just such good enrichment. And that is what we are big on here at ZWF Miami. This little guy, he's getting tired out. Where are you, where are those fish at? Are you having fun? Are you guys enjoying this? This is just too cool, guys. Look at them chowing down. They really are having a great time. And so with that being said, I think we're wrapping things up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as these otter kids are enjoying this fish. If you guys wanna see more, comment down below, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.